Hello everyone, welcome to video 33 of chapter 3. After having studied the feasible region and the feasible solution, now we take a look at topics related to the feasible value. We have definition 5. So the feasible values are defined as follows. The values of the objective function on the feasible region are called feasible values. And one special case if your problem is not feasible, that is, the feasible region is empty, then there are no feasible values. Okay? That set for feasible values will also be empty. Okay, now we have our proposition 6, which says that the set for feasible values for linear programming is convex. Let's take a look at how to prove this proposition. Okay, so we needed to show that the feasible value, the set for that is convex, and we need to follow the definition of a convex set. So let's first write down the objective function. Let's say is z equal to this expression is the objective function. Now let's take two values in this set of feasible values. Let's say we have a z bar and then we have a z tilde. They are two feasible values so they must be obtained by some feasible solution. Let's call the feasible solution for z bar to be x bar and uh, for z tilde to be x tilde. Okay? So we know that z bar is the value attained at x bar and z tilde is the value of the objective function attained at x tilde. Okay, now we make a convex combination of the two feasible values. Z bar, Z tilde, convex combination, we call it Z hat. And T is between 0 and 1. So by the definition, it suffices to show that Z hat is in the feasible value set, which means Z hat is attained at some x hat, which is feasible. And here we specify that x hat is actually a linear combination, or no, sorry, a convex combination of x bar and x tilde. Okay, so the rest of the proof is aimed at um, proving this statement. Okay, so indeed, there are a few things we need to show here. So first we need to show that x hat shall be a feasible solution. Why is this true? Well, x hat is a convex combination of x bar and x tilde, and x bar and x tilde are both in the set of a feasible region, and which is convex, and therefore, by theorem 3, I know x hat is in the feasible region, and it's a feasible solution. Furthermore, we need to verify that the objective function, the value it attained at x hat is exactly z hat. Okay, so let's look at it. So what is z hat? By definition, it's the convex combination of z bar and z tilde, and where z bar equal to that and z tilde equal to that. And I'm going to plug them in. So y minus t times z bar plus t times z tilde. Okay, it's a bit big. Okay, then we play the um the the same trick we have been doing. And then we redistribute and combine like terms and we'll combine in the following ways. So first we take the constant term, minus z bar 
I have 1 minus t plus t, which is 1, so I just get minus z bar. Then I collect the term with the coefficient c1. I take it there, out, and so I get 1 minus t, x1 bar, and then t times x1 til tilde. Okay, so it's a convex combination of x bar 1, x tilde 1. And then you go through all the intermediate dot, dot, dot. And then the last one, Cn, will be just x bar with index n and x tilde with index n. Okay? And then what are these numbers in the bracket? Well, they are exactly co uh, elements of x hat because x hat is the uh, convex combination of them. So this will be minus z not plus c1 x1 hat plus dot dot plus cn xn hat okay so this is exactly the expression of the an um, objective function plugging in x hat therefore we conclude that z hat is a feasible value it's attained at x hat and this completes the proof Okay, let's make a remark. So the image of a convex set under an affine transformation is convex. What can this image be? Because we are now talking about the value, right? Affine transformation. So this image just takes values. It's a one-dimensional thing. So this image could be three situations we can have. First is the whole real line. So any real number can be obtained through this convex transformation. And second, it could be a half line. Um, and the third one is it can be an interval. And all three sets here listed, they are all convex sets. Okay, so um, that is all for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And then we'll continue our study of convexity and LP problem in the next video. I see you then.